Yep. Here he is, as soon as I start to move. Hey guys, how are we all? Welcome to another video. And it is an absolutely cracking day here in Bundaberg. Coming to the end of winter, we have got only a couple of days to go. And already we are warming up. It won't be long before we get rid of our chilly 20 to 25 degree days and be back up into the high 20s and possibly even low 30s. So today I am just going to head out to Elliot Heads, uh, thanks to a friend Ruth on Facebook who has a, uh, a recumbent e-trike. She went a back way um, here to Elliot Heads, so I thought the road was closed and you couldn't get through, but she has proved that it's not. So we'll go that way today. So first things first, we're just going to head down on this road, which is called Lover's Walk. Don't know why. All the macadamia trees. They take about five years to uh, start bearing fruit. But, uh, they'll start to flower soon, now coming on to spring. And we will get a very, very sweet honey-like smell in the air. Old tractors and cane trucks leave a bit of mess on the road with the mud. Got a southeasterly wind too, so gonna be pushing into that all morning. But uh, if it stays true, well, we'll have it at our back on the way home, which is always a benefit. I am uh, also on a new bike. Yeah, well, it's not that new now. It's about six weeks old. I bought it from uh, Bicycles Online and they had it shipped to me in a couple of days, so that was pretty good. First time I've ever bought a bike online. The bike itself is a 2021 Marin Nicasio. It is a uh, chromoly steel frame and forks, which is what I was after. Um, has a 2x8 uh, Shimano Claris drive chain. Pretty basic bike, but I have to say, I am quite impressed with how it rides. It's a very comfortable bike. And the saddle, which is a standard saddle, I am uh, very amazed at. The bike itself is sold as a gravel bike. I think as it comes out of the box, it really is basically a steel framed road bike with 30 mil tyres. But I do have another set of rims and a set of 40 mil gravel tyres to throw on it and that is what I intend to do is to turn it into a much more capable gravel bike. For the price I am uh, extremely happy with it. Even as it comes out of the box. But you guys knowing me, it won't stay as it come out of the box for long. I also uh, have uh, GRX running gear to put it on it, front derailleur and rear derailleur. Unfortunately the uh, GRX brake and uh, STI levers are uh, way too expensive and apparently it's illegal to sell your daughters on eBay so I can't really afford them. I am just going to put a set of uh, micro shift, what are they, Centro 11 
uh, B5 512s, I think they are. It was just over nine hundred dollars, including freight. Um, it was an end of financial year sale, so I saved a couple of hundred dollars on it. There is a 2022 model out, but exactly the same bike, just for about two or three hundred dollars dearer. As you can see, it is uh, killer magpie season. So there'll be a few of those out today. We're on uh, Barolan Homestead Road now, so we're just going to come down to the little zigzaggy bit. And then we're going to turn right onto Back Windermere Road. And that will take us onto Atkinson Road which is the road I thought was closed and that will take us down to the esplanade that runs along the water at Elliot Heads and yes this is what I love a little bit of gravel oh. I've never been up here before quite short and sharp that little hill hey how you doing I haven't been able to do much riding lately or uh, do any work that I want to do to the new bike I have been flat out like a lizard drinking renovating our kitchen it was supposed to happen two years ago after we moved in, but unfortunately uh, cancer raised its ugly head. So now it's all systems go for renovations. And here we are coming on to Atkinson's Road. So there's no through road there, but Apparently you can get through it. You see uh, big piles of rock like that a lot out around the coast here from Bundaberg. Um, the hummock is actually a, uh, an extinct volcano. So there is a lot of volcanic rock and, uh, around here and I will show you on the coast too, you can see all the black rock along the coastline. Well, we're coming to the end of it, so we'll see if we can get through up here. Oh yeah, oh that wind. Oh yeah, we just follow the uh, track down here, we're all good. Oh shit, let's all test the balance out. Easy peasy. Well, that certainly beats riding Elliot Heads Road. That's for sure. bring the mountain bike out one day because uh, it'd be good to explore down there. The uh, pathway that I'm about to ride on along the Esplanade will eventually go all the way through there to Coral Cove. It is in the planning at the stage 
and that'll be great because you won't even have to go out around on any roads you can just follow a pathway all the way down through here look at that crystal clear blue water not a cloud in the sky and that's a terrible pathway isn't it <laughs> uh, yeah I'll keep the camera handy because there's a few angry magpies uh, live along here so I've got the ears covered they like the ears for some reason last time I rode out along here I got a gash down the side of the face angry buggers only last for a few weeks a year though there's one sitting down there in the grass there waiting for me to ride off we'll see once I ride and if he follows me and decides to swoop yep here he is as soon as I start to move <laughs> here he is back again They don't usually worry me too much. It's only when they come down the side of the face that they uh, tick you off a bit. <laughs> I also have a trip planned for October. Fingers crossed things will go ahead as I've planned about three or four weeks 1800 kilometers is my goal but we'll see this is uh what riding a bike is all about guys just getting out going as fast or as slow as you want fresh air awesome scenery you wouldn't be dead for quids would you and down there is that black volcanic rock I was telling you about all along the coastline Well, here we are guys at the uh, Anzac Memorial at Elliot Heads and it, it, it is also known as the Submarine Lookout. The reason being that through Second World War it was built as a submarine lookout for invasion from Japanese submarines. A lot of people get the concept that Australia being an island we're pretty secluded from everything but we were actually attacked or bombed 85 times between uh, February 1942 to November 1943. Two of the attacks which uh, air raids attacked and bombed Townsville and Mossman to the north of Bundaberg here. But uh, there were quite a few attacks along the uh, Northern Territory and down uh, across the northern uh, parts of Western Australia. So we weren't all that uh, uh, secluded through Second World War. But um, not only is it a great remo uh, Anzac memorial, it is also uh, an awesome view. Uh, if we look just a little bit, you can't really see it, but just down there is the uh, most northern tip of Fraser Island. And just out this way a little bit is the most southern tip of the Great Barrier Reef. So uh, we live in a pretty special part of the world, I think.
Well, guys, that's pretty much it for this one. Uh, I'm going to make my way home and try and find as many gravel roads as I can. But before I go, there is a couple of things I just want to say. First one being, I uh, want to give a big shout out and congratulations to Kel from Sir Bikes a Lot. Him and his partner have had a beautiful baby girl. And uh, yeah, it's a uh, special time when a new bub comes along. The second thing is the stickers have arrived. The old bum on a bike stickers, they are here. So as it was for my 400 subscriber celebration to get them done, I would like to let you know if you're interested in a sticker, um, comment below, say yes, you want a sticker. After you've commented, find out my email address which will be in the description below and uh, you'll have to uh, email me your um, postal details. I am giving the first 40 away and then we'll keep some for down the track later on. And uh, yeah, so that's about it guys, the old bum on a bike stickers. And they turned out quite well. Well, I'm happy with them anyway. All right guys, till the next one. Cheers and ride safe out there, right? Eh?